Today I'm going to paint a watercolour in Art Studio Pro. Hi everyone, Steve Elliott here. Um, last time I used Art Studio Pro, um, I tried to do a watercolour and I failed miserably. So I have decided to uh, make a set of brushes, and here they are. I've got four watercolour brushes that I'm going to use, and basically I've taken the same um stamps that i had in my procreate brushes and i've imported them into here so let's see what happens this is the first i'm not using them yet so this is a live demo i've got a picture here that i'm going to kind of try and replicate and we'll see what happens i'm working in full screen i'm going to turn off the touch sensitive because i had problems with that uh I've got it set for left-handed so I can use the sliders for the size of the brush and the flow, although I probably won't touch the flow. So, uh, let's choose a colour. I'm going to have a sort of a blue. And I've got the first brush I'm using is the C watercolour wash. And you can see we get this nice. I've got it set to maximum size. Um, I made this canvas A3. I thought that's a kind of a reasonable size for um, a watercolour painting. I just want that a little bit warmer, that blue. Let's see what that does. A bit too dark, perhaps. Add up a bit. I've disabled the touch, so I wonder how I'll have to toggle that back on to undo, I guess. Right, here we go. I'm just touching very lightly. I think I need to go back to a light blue again. This isn't too bad, I guess. Um, if I choose a white, try and overpaint it. Yeah, that goes in there not quite nice. The clouds. Bring the size down a bit. And I'm going to see what smudge brushes we've got. I think I will use this. Um, these aren't ones I've made. I'm going to use the cloud mixer. That seems reasonable. These are these come with um, Art Studio Pro. And I'm just sort of oh yeah, you can see you can blend that down quite nice. In fact, I go back to my wet brush, which is my um, watercolor wash. So I've still only used one brush. Let's take the size down a bit and just a bit too much. I've turned I've turned the uh, touch sensitive off because it does um, cause problems with making marks on the on the screen. So I find if I turn that off, that solves that problem. It's it's not the best solution. But it, it does it does um, work so yeah I think I've got a reasonable sky in there so let's change the color to a, a kind of a I still want to I'm, I'm working kind of working with aerial perspective a bit here for, for the distant trees. 
Uh, maybe let's just try that. And I'm still using the same brush. And I've set it for pressure sensitive. Notice I've got the flow really low, so it kind of gives a nice um, transparent look to it. So then. Adding bits of colour in here. Still with this same brush. That's looking okay, I guess. Um, let's get this water in the foreground. I've got a, I've created a flat brush. So I kind of, Oops, there's that auto saving. I didn't adjust that, uh, I should do really. This this flat brush is really nice for adding uh, water. Then we've got these, um, looks like lilies, but I think it's algae. Things going off there. Now, um, I'm going to go back, well, I'll choose a sort of sandy colour, I guess, and I'm going back to my wash brush, just bring it down this size a little bit, and just um, put a bit of colour in there, maybe a bit of green as well. Just sort of getting um, bits of local colour in. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to create a new layer. So that's my initial wash done. So I'm now going to go back in and then I've got a round brush and I'm going to select a slightly deeper green. In fact, I'm going to take the size down a bit. And just strengthen up, well, not strengthen, sharpen the bottom edge of this. No, that's a bit too much. A bit bigger. And I can use the blending tool. I guess if I take the size down, zoom in a bit. Just to soften the top of that line I've just put in. And soften that as well a little bit. Just sort of adds to that watercolor effect. So that's looking pretty cool. Quite happy with that. What brush have I got selected? Oh, none. I'm using the smudge brushes. Um, round brush. Okay, I'm going to stick with that round brush. Make it a bit bigger. And, oops. This is really nice for sort of putting in loose 
brush strokes for branches. And then I guess I need a yellow, yellowy colour in there. Let's try that. I'm not good with greens, it's not my favourite um, colour. tend to um, push them more towards the blue side of the spectrum. Use my uh, blender again, see what if I can do something with this. So, and that. I'm just sort of blending these colours together. Wait for the auto save to do its magic. I do I, the blending on this is great. It really is nice. So, um, back to the brush. Let's go back for this um, cream color. Let's take the size down a bit. I just want to sort of put a sharper edge on this side of it. Like that. Take the blender. Just soften off one side. I do this with watercolour paint, you know. I do exactly the same thing. I would... Uh, have a, a brush with just water in it and you're blending that away like that. So you got that kind of edge thing going off there. And then we've got this one going off as well. Blender. That's looking quite good. Back to my brush. Let's get some of this water in. That's nice. This brush does work a, a, a better. It's slightly bigger, I think. Definitely. This is this is a study, by the way. It's not a full blown painting, but I'm just testing. Uh, these brushes work and I wanted to show you sort of in real time rather than um, a sort of a, a speed paint which you know that's okay if I'm doing a full-blown painting because it works well, the only way I can do it really otherwise you would never you'd be waiting for hours to see the finished piece but when I'm doing something like this, which is sort of demoing something, it's nice to see it in real time. So that's what it is. I'm really glad that I've done this because this is working all right, I think. And, um, you know, this, they might need tweaking a little bit, but it does mean now that 
I have an option for painting, watercolour in this app as well. It's a nice little app. Uh, let's put some deep colour in there. I'm just using the default colours by the way. That uh, This is the default palette called the basic palette. I thought I'd just use that. And then, and then just tweak it to here and there. I like, I like, I like that sort of brushy effect. I think that's great. Yeah, we get in there. We get in there. Um. We've used the flat brush, so that's cool. Let's put some of this um, yellow stuff in. I think it's algae, really. I, I like this round brush. It's working great. Right, so I'm going to stick with that. Size down a bit and put a few Ooh, there we go. Then the same thing again. Wow, that's not too shabby. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I'm just going to go to my flat brush and um, choose a blue just to put a little bit of something in there that's it that's cool this is all working rather nice i think Yeah, back to my round brush, size down a little bit. It makes a massive difference when you have a reference picture. This was, this was um, I took this picture last, last weekend. I went to a place called Melbourne Pool and uh, I spent a few years growing up there when I was a young lad. So I've got lots of... Um, Fond memories of this place, sort of tramping through uh, streams in Wellington, full of water, sort of going slush, slush, slush as we're walking along and um, things like that. So whenever I get, it's, it's my kind of tranquil place where I can go in and chill out. There they are. Do you know, I think this is this is coming to an end, I think. Um, let's just uh, up the green a bit in the foreground. Just strengthen this up a bit. And I like this kind of wet in wet. Sort of brush work. Now I've got one more brush to show you, and that's the Rigger. And this is for putting in sort of fine lines. So I can sort of go in here. Oops. Uh, that's a bit too much. Take the size down a little bit, I think. And I can just put some of these grasses in. I 
mix up the, the tang and the colour a bit. And I'm going to kind of put this sort of shadowy bit in and then take that blender again, smooth that away. Nearly there. These brushes, I'm going to make free, by the way, I'm going to put them on um, my website. So there will be a link in the uh, description below where you can uh, go to get your free copy. This is, I kind of, you know, I thought about doing the, the Patreon thing, which a lot of artists do. But I thought, um, to be honest, I'd rather put these online for free. And if you kind of, um, you know, you haven't got a lot of money, you're a student or you're retired, then you can get them for free and it doesn't matter. And I'm very happy about that. And if you're a little bit more affluent, maybe you might want to make a contribution so that uh, I can keep funding all the all these projects I do and that would be cool too but you don't have to you know I thought I'd give you the option and then you're not tied into a monthly subscription and all that thing I don't I don't think I want to go that way I'm I'm happy kind of doing it the way I am yeah so if you've got Art Studio Pro um you know you can get a copy of this for free and that, that's great I'm very happy for you to of that right um oops brush round brush have I got my round brush yes I have let's change the colour a bit I kind of want to go for a brownie colour that's it maybe something like that right back to my rigger I'm just going to put some uh, branches in the trees. And there we have it, a watercolour in Art Studio Pro. I think I ought to sign this one. So, um, that is it. That is uh, my watercolour painting in Art Studio Pro. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, a big thumbs up as always is much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and clicking on that bell icon so you get notified of new videos. And if there's any apps out there that you want me to try out uh, that I haven't done videos for, let me know because I'm happy to have a go at um, trying anything really. So hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye.